Hi everyone, here we are with a local artist Ben Taffender. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, his work and especially where we are now. I'll show you some wild shots of this in a minute, but it's absolutely fantastic view we can see from here. So Ben, don't get more local than you for us. Right. You're um, being, well, oh, you're probably at a spitting distance from the gallery, yeah, yeah. where you live. Yeah, and, the farm. yeah. and you moved up to the farm with your folks about 15 years ago? Yeah, when, well, I was when you were 14. 14. When you yeah, were 14. So, um, whatever that is, I'm 31 years old. What, um, were you already into art at that time? Yeah, I'd always, um, I'd always been drawing for as long as I can remember. Um, my grandmother used to come and, and paint. She used to uh, work outside with watercolours and, and when I was little I'd go and sort of sit with her and, um, and draw a bit. So it was always going on, yeah. And it's kind of, um, so you know, sometimes it's it's come and gone away for a bit, but yeah. it always sort of comes back to it. And yeah. So your gran was an artist as well, was she? She was, yeah, just for herself. Really. Oh, okay, so not yeah. a professional no, artist. No. And there's anybody in your family that is? I mean, no, this is a new no, life that's here. it, the black sheep. Yeah. So what? <laughs> I'm mean, really. Yeah. So what was? Um, what was, the, was there a moment where you thought, no, this is absolutely what I want to do, or have you just slowly just sort of developed into it? Um. Yeah, I mean, there's probably been a few moments of of clarity, mm -hmm. and then um, you know, and then sort of do other things for a while. Um, I I went to art college. I went over to Falmouth mm -hmm. um, and and did uh, actually did sculpture over there, a fine art course. And um, yeah, because you've done some installations in Europe. Yeah, some sort of different you? stuff. Is yeah. that that's purely sculpture based? It, it was, yeah. I mean, it's sculpture in a sort of loose sense, but. Um, was a lot of um, sort of outdoor installations for yeah for outdoor exhibitions. Right. Um, I was kind of undecided, and I went up uh, and I went to the Royal Academy because they had a Van Gogh exhibition, mm. um, and I went and saw that. And um, I'd never, although I was at art college, we never wasn't really sort of looking into painting. And I, I didn't have any idea, any sort of preconceptions, right. and it blew me away. It's you know it was a yeah. It was a monster yeah, exhibition, basically, and right. it, like sort of those times where you come out after a, a film that just kind of concusses you, and you yeah. can't um, you can't sort of operate the same way, and it, it just it just sort of made me realise how important you know not not necessarily trying to sort of work in the same way that he or anyone no, else sure. does, but just how important it is to to make work, like, yeah, you know, exactly. um, and, and that was sort of always in my head and. And that was the sort of turning point. So that was about three years ago, and I've been doing, trying to do it full time, right? Um, ish, um, painting since then. Yeah. Okay. So you work in oils, and you yeah. like to work outdoors. Yeah. Now I know um, some of the other artists we have like to work outdoors, but that's got to have some real inherent problems. Yeah. In you know, you can only work in certain weathers, or do you put brollies up? I mean, how does it work? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Some people put brollies up. I have. Um, it is tricky. It is a kind of. It is a like a fight in a way with, mm. with oils, um, especially if it's if it's raining and, and things like that. But it you don't have to think too much. Exactly. Yeah, it right. pushes you. You lose control to a degree, and and when you lose control, um, you you make decisions. You do things that you're not you aren't always conscious of, and it throws up surprises. Things happen with the paint that you you wouldn't have done if you'd have been in a, an environment like this and suddenly right. had the time, um, and it stops it. I'm always sort of fighting this thing of my work being too careful. I don't like it too to much. And do you have to go back to the same location several times, or can you get most of it there and I, sort of finish off? I tend it? to work to try and do it in one in one sitting. So oh. some, you know, it could be um, it could be it could be sort of forty minutes, or it could be like two or three hours, you know, mm. um, or more than that. But it's I'm not I'm just personally not good at going back. Um, because you're always, as well as the place is you, and you're in a different sort of frame of mind, and it, it's better to, to kind of just do it in one block. I mean, that's one of the problems. I mean, I know as, as a songwriter myself for years, you always have a problem of the fact that, you know, I mean, how do you deal with the fact that days where you just don't feel like painting? Mm. Are you very disciplined where you say, no, I'm going to go out at nine o'clock, I'm going to come back at five, and I'm, or do you... Do you find yourself drawn? Yeah, I tried that. I have tried the sort of the, the nine to five thing because it was it's left over from other work before where you kind of you know feel guilty if you didn't yeah. put in all this time. 
but to be honest, you you could you know I could force myself to come in here and work for two weeks um, in a sort of slightly distracted frame of mind. But if I if I if you get to know yourself well enough to see when you're right and where you need to be. If you're in the right frame of mind, you go and work for an hour and you do more than you would in a fortnight. Right, you know, okay. you're wrong kind of thing. So it is tricky and you have, there's plenty of days where you just think, oh, bugger it, you know, yeah. and do something else. And sometimes I do, just go out in the boat. You right, know, it's okay. a good thing to do. But on the, on conversely, when you wake up in the morning and think, this is a creative day, you can do that? You can just say, yeah. you know what, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to the gallery because I just feel it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Right. You got to, and, and for me, you know, usually the, the best thing is to have a, a place in mind to go to go and make sort of outside kind of thing. Right. That's um, okay. because you force yourself when you're there. You you know that's the first step. You sort of right. surprise yourself and you just got to go with it. Right. Okay. Yeah. Do you um, find yourself drawn to particular places all the time, or do you do, do you try to be quite? Yeah, I spread it around. I mean, I go. There's lots of bits of Cornwall that I've that I've liked that I've gone to for for all sorts of reasons for a long time, mm. and, and I find myself going. You, you do sort of start to see a pattern and you know there's places that, you're, that you are kind of drawn to, you know, you really are. Um, and you go back there and, and, and you know, no doubt that will continue, you know, probably, probably go on for that. Yeah. So, so what about from now on in? Are you just going to try and continue doing it, find maybe other galleries to work with and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, hopefully. That would be good. Yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, and just, just, just keep working. Really. Yeah. Keep at it. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot again. We'll have a look around here now and see where it is. But yeah. and Taffender, everyone. Cheers.